What the f... What madness is this? Um, look, look what I am. Middle of the post. Now, I know a few of us had gone over to the left of the post, and I thought, well, I can't see that. I can't see how it can be that far left of the post. That's not to say it's wrong by any means. Here I am in zone three. I can't criticise anyone. Uh, but originally, I'd gone to the right, just to the right of the post. Um, the height I got right there, but... I, I've only just looked at it, and when I saw how far right the winning cross was, I thought, good grief. That means some of the judges have gone even further right than that, which we'll have a look at in a minute. So I ended up in zone three and had 15% back of the pound fifty I spent. So I had 23 pence back. What a shambles. I'm getting worse every week. Right, let's have a look at how the judges came to be where they are. So here we are with the judges. There's two in the middle of the post. Well, it seems to be a little bit high, but still, you've got one all the way down here. And look how far right this one is. I don't see it myself, but there we go. I, we all see it in different ways, don't we? Uh, but it looks like there's a little cluster around that one there. I'm very surprised that so many of them went that far to the right. I was just on the edge of the post, my first one. Uh, but then because some of you guys had gone over to the left-hand side of the post, they thought, well, okay, if the judges are going to do the same thing, I'll go in the middle. Um, I, I, you know, I don't even know what they're going to take out there because it's... Are any of them that far out? I don't know. I'm just I'm just going to be guessing here. and I, It's a bit of an odd spread. Uh, so look what the judges did. No, they left all the crosses in. They haven't taken any out. How many was there? Eight, eight judges this week, including uh, the head judge. Uh, and they've left all the crosses in. And yeah, I think that sort of makes sense because none of them were... It wasn't a tight enough cluster and none of them were that far removed from the cluster that you'd think, well, that's ridiculous. It's way off. Even though I think most of them were uh, way off. But they, what can I say? And we all see them in a different way. Um, I know I said the last couple of months probably that I thought the judging was getting better in that they've been in a better cluster uh, I'm not so sure this week I'm uh, not so sure anyway let's have a look at this week's picture because I've done a cross so an interesting picture this week uh, we seem to have a um, badminton match going on because the two fellas in blue uh, both had their badminton rackets airbrushed out and they've been put into a football scenario and I'm not sure what the fella in white is doing, if he's looking up a chimney or he's looking up something, isn't he? So they've put all three of these together, two badminton players and a pervert. And I've gone, my one cross is right there. Because when I draw some lines, uh, this guy looks as though he's more or less... I think he's looking slightly down, or I certainly think the judges are going to look slightly down. Um, this fella... That's looking up some Scotsman's kilt. That's, um, I think he's looking in that sort of direction. I was much further to the left when I first did it. But I've gradually moved it slowly to the right. And I'm not even sure if I've moved it enough. But if I try and draw a line from this guy up to my cross as well. See, I'm getting all three of them looking sort of, well, making sense. It might not look perfect to everybody, but, uh, oh, what a lovely pattern. Anyway, it might not look perfect to everybody, but um, it sort of makes sense to me at the moment. I know some people will see this fella on the right here. They'll think he's looking lower. Some will think he's looking higher. Uh, it's the same with this guy on the left. We can't see his eye. We can only really go by the angle of his head. Uh, and this fella in a white is a tricky one because I think he's looking slightly to his left. So it's a tricky one to look at it in 3D and try and decide where the ball should be. So it is an odd one. Well, actually, it's easy to see where the ball should be, but where's the cross going to be, the centre of the ball? So that's where I am for that one at the moment. Uh, what's my coordinate on that? 1600, 721. Uh, I'm going to put the target on there, see how that looks. Although I don't know why, because every week when I put the target on there, it looks perfect. And then when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the decider, I'm in zone three. The result. So are they looking at zone one? Is that feasible? Yeah, yeah. I think the two uh, badminton players and uh, the the um, sex offender is uh, they're all looking at that zone one. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy with that. 
So that's what I'm sticking for now, uh, unless I put a few crosses in from you guys throughout the week. So leave me a cross. We'll make another one Saturday, see where we think the average is. And I think that's going to be pretty close to where I am there. Yeah, I think that's a winning cross. I'm not going to move it. Bugger it. Right, Rev Comps, what do they do this week? Well, they sneakily added another, as you can see, this van is on an early bird. Uh, this is for Thursday's draw. They dropped that van in last minute. So I bought a ticket on it and because that's the only... I, I had nothing else. I had no tickets for Thursday at all because there's nothing on here that I fancied. Um, I didn't fancy the Hyundai because, well, I'm not 12. And the others, just too expensive to run, too flash and fancy. Nah, not suitable for me. Um, so I've gone for this transit van which I can turn into a weekend camper when I sell my other car to pay for it. So that's what I've got. I've got one ticket on that. And then for next Monday's draw, they've got a Porsche on there or cash alternative of 70,000. So I had one ticket on that. I uh, didn't want the M2 competition, didn't want the Merc. Uh, I do like these James Bond type Land Rovers, but what would I do with it? I uh, didn't want the Mini either, but I did get a ticket on this Volkswagen Troc R-Line, the T-Roc. I quite like those. And that one is a 2.0-litre diesel, automatic, and it's got a tow bar on it. So I could tow a caravan with that. So I got a ticket on that. Now, why have I only got one ticket on things? Well, if I want a car, I always end up buying three tickets. If there's one I particularly want, or the camper van. Um, and it's a bit of a mental thing because when I went back in July, I won the Foley Echo Sport, um, I had bought three tickets. So in my head, I have to buy three tickets to win. And then what I did yesterday, I looked at about the last 10 or 12 winners of cars on Revcoms. And I went through the entry list to see how many tickets the winners had bought. And out of about 12 winners I looked at, I think there was... Uh, one of them had bought four tickets, one three, one had bought two tickets, but the other eight or nine had only bought one ticket. And I thought, well, okay, it only takes one ticket to win. Uh, and I don't really need to be buying three, four or five tickets on a car. So I've just bought one ticket on those three. One for the Porsche, the cash alternative, one for the van to turn into a weekend camper, and one for the Volkswagen T-Roc. So... Uh, let me know how you got on, guys. Interested to see how you got on. I like reading all the comments to see, uh, you know, what closest car and runner-up and everything. I'm always fascinated by that. Uh, and leave a coordinate for this weekend. But try and put some words with it, like my coordinate is or my guess is or whatever. Because we seem to be having, and we've had this all, all along, but it seems to be getting worse lately, that if you just put numbers into your post... I think YouTube thinks that there's some sort of spam or scam or link to something and it just kicks them out. So put some words in with it. Like these are my rubbish coordinates or anything you like. Uh, or Marty at a bell end, Y2665X492. Um, and hopefully they should come through and then I can mark them up on the, uh, on the picture for the weekend. And in the meantime, good luck for this week.